Great stat here from, I believe, our research department that Harry, producer Harry, got into the rundown. There are eight teams remaining, eight quarterbacks remaining, starting quarterbacks. Seven of those starting quarterbacks, Pete, are former first-round picks. You have, can you name where all seven were taken? What what spot they were taken? Yeah. No. Jared Goff. Mayf- I bet you could. One. Yeah, I bet you can. One. Uh, Baker Mayfield. One. C.J. Stroud. W- uh, two. Josh Allen. He was seven. Yep. Wasn't he? Yeah. Patrick yep. Mahomes. Nine. Ten. Oh, uh, not uh, nine because Brinson knows because the Bengals picked nine that year and Brinson loves to throw that in my right. face. Okay. And, and, the, and the Bills were the tenth team. And they, they traded with the uh, right. they traded with the Bills. Uh, Jordan Love. He was twenty five. Six. Oh, because oh. Lamar Jackson. He was thirty one. Thirty seconds. Thirty two. That's right. Thirty two. And then, do you know what number pick the final quarterback was? No. Brock Purdy, he's the last pick of the draft. I know he's the last pick of the draft. Isn't that crazy that we got seven first round picks? Well, first first round. That that tells you usually where you need to find them. Right. Exactly. Unless, and, you, unless you have the accident of all accidents and Tom Brady it's in the sixth round or Brock Purdy, who fits in that offense and perfectly in, in, in the last pick of the draft. Wait, wait, which is a bigger accident, Tom Brady or uh, Nick Foles winning a Super Bowl? Oh, Nick Foles winning a Super Bowl. Tom Brady had it in him. They just didn't see it. Right. Nick and, Foles and, became, was Nick Foles for most of his career. All right. To, Who's to, your... add, wait, to add to your point real quick, Brinson, we have – Three quarterbacks from the class of 2018, which is tied for the most ever from one class to make it in the divisional round Ooh. at the same time. That'd be 2004, right? And every QB, no, it's happened a few times. Every quarterback is under the age of 30, and this is only the third time that has ever happened in the divisional round. It's actually, well, you also got to remember a lot of those times Manning and Brady were in, and, and they were all, they were in over 30. So, and Favre. It was over thirty, and you know, so you had guys that played later in their career. But you're right; it's a good, it's a good stat. It's, look, the young guns are coming. That that's basically what it is. They're here. They, they, a lot of them are here, but you got Stroud's coming. Guy like that, you know, Purdy. He, they're coming. No, I mean the, the um, there's definitely been. We're definitely still in the sort of mid range stages of this turnover of like a legendary group of quarterbacks who all sort of stepped away. And now these guys are taking over. Who's your best divisional round quarterback. You pick one divisional round quarterback right now, obviously like, you know, Mahomes. I mean, Lamar's the MVP, but you, you get, you get to pick one for the, you, you get, I'm, taking, you, I'm always taking Mahomes. He's, he's proved it. He's oh, you won. coward. I'll take Josh Allen. Well, I mean, you, until he proves <laughs> that he can win the big one like yeah. Mahomes has, you have to take Mahomes. Uh, Breach, you get the third pick by virtue of me. Uh, you know what? I wasn't going to take Mahomes or Allen with my first pick, so you guys can have those picks. I am taking Jared Goff. He gets to go up the, against the defense that gave up the fourth most passing yards in the NFL. I think Goff throws for more yards than any other quarterback in the but division that's not around. The que- that's not oh, the yeah, question. I asked the question wrong. It was who's who has the best performance this weekend? Oh, that's not, that's not the way you asked the question. Wait, yes, what, right. how did you phrase it? I said, who you got? Who's the best quarterback? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like who you got? Like who's going to win? I still take Jared Goff either way. Yeah, uh, who's going to have the best performance this weekend? I'll say I will actually amend mine to Lamar Jackson. I'm going to amend mine to Jordan Love. Ooh, Ooh. off on now. There we go. See you block him. You beat them. That's always my theory on the 49ers, and I think the way the Packers' offensive line is playing, they can block them. 